We are now joined by Hofstra head coach Shannon Smith following your game against Boston College. Uh, coach, if you could just open up with an opening statement about today's game, please. Yeah, Boston College is a really great team. Um, you know, they they fought really hard and, and gave us a really great challenge. Um, and, you know, I thought that we we strung some good minutes together there in, in the second half. But, um, you know, when you play a team like Boston College, you got to be able to play a full 60 minutes. Um, and, and that's something that we got to continue to work on moving forward in our season. Uh, Shannon, first question, you had, you mentioned the second half there. You guys really started to really control the draw controls for a long stretch there in the second half. What what did you see from your team that allowed you guys to be successful in that area? Yeah, I thought that Alyssa was doing a great job, um, you know, fighting for the balls. Katie was it was putting in some places um, and Alyssa was getting there. So it was a, a change, but we got to be able to remain consistent in that. Um, and, and I thought that after we went on that 5-0 scoring run, we just didn't um, we didn't play well in the last 15 minutes of the game. I thought that we forced a lot offensively um, and we came away with some empty opportunities. And when you're on that run, uh, playing against a team like Boston College, you, you got to continue to play well um, and, and, and finish your shots. Uh, and then offensively during that five nothing run, uh, what what did you see from your team? Obviously, Alexa had a little bit of success there as well. Yeah, we were just moving fast um, in the first half. I just felt we were very stagnant, um, getting each other's ways and and not really working on what we practice all week at at practice. So, um, you know, we, we talked about it at halftime. We made some adjustments, uh, and I thought that the the team started to play better, um, but. You know, we, we have to continue to um, be able to play at a high level um, for more consecutive minutes. Um, and I thought that defensively during that time, we were also making some stops. Uh, our first question will be from Andrew. Go ahead, Andrew. Hey, Coach. Hey, this is Andrew Merdola from WRHU. A pair of players with their first goals of the season today. How do you feel about the fact that your team is now able to add maybe some more uh, attackers on the offense that can make a difference? Yeah, it's important. It's important for us to continue to have scoring weapons um, and, and people stepping up for us on the offensive side of the field, um, you know, as, as we move forward. So it's nice to see that from, uh, you know, Kate Fiola and, and Taylor Manella. Our next question will be from Jack. Go ahead, Jack. Hi, Coach Smith. Oh. Hi, Coach Smith. Uh, Jack Parthy, WRHU. How do you feel about Boston College's attacking front that they sent you guys all game, especially with having how they ended that game on that run? Yeah, they're they're a very talented group. Obviously, Charlotte North's a very good player. Um, you know, I thought Sabrina did a good job on her in the second half. Um, but they have seven weapons and they can all score. Uh, you know, so I, I think that is important that on defense we're playing in for we're locked in for a full 90 seconds on a shot clock. Um, you know, and and I think they had some goals on us at the end of shot clocks under 10 seconds and we got to be able to play a full 90 seconds, but they're very talented. They have a lot of different different weapons, and you have to be, um, you know, ready for everything. Our next question will be from Daniel. Go ahead, Daniel. Hi, Coach. This is uh, Danny DiCrescenzo, Women's Lacks Beat Reporter. Coming off of this game, what do you think is the number one lesson your team can learn going forward as you continue on this season? Uh, stringing good minutes together. Uh, I, I think that's the most important thing is we got to learn how to, we got to get a better IQ um, on offense, especially. And uh, we got to string some good minutes of lacrosse together, both defensively and offensively on the field. Next question from Jack. Go ahead, Jack. Hey coach, uh, any word on Aaron Tierney and her stats for next game? Yeah, we'll, we'll reevaluate, um, you know, and, and see where Aaron Tierney is um, for our next game, but you know, um, we'll, we're, we're going to take it from there. Thank you, Coach.